You guys know that browsers aren't the only things that can have tabs on your computer, right? Like you can do that with anything. Oh, you didn't. Well, that's why you're watching this. Let's, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So a question I'm often asked when I'm in Notion is, Dimitri, how do you have tabs here? Did Notion add tabs? What's, how are you using the Notion app but have tabs? Also, something that people probably notice sometimes, how do you have tabs for File Explorer? And I actually have an app for everything because I'm the app guy. So if I go into my browser here, I can actually show you what the app is. Stardock Groupie, is that what you can Google? You can go to Groupie tabs for Windows and essentially you can organize multiple applications into groups on your Windows desktop. So while this software does do a great job of taking things like your Windows Explorer and your Windows that you can have in Notion or any specific app. It's really cool in the sense that I could actually take my Notion here and if I hold and hover over this, it'll tab anything together, literally anything. And this is something I've been using for over a year now and I guess it's just something that I didn't realize was as powerful as it is. So say if you're working in this application, it does cost you about five bucks, but once you get it, if you go and search groupie here, what you'll find is there's actually some cool settings that I have and I would like you to go through and look at this and see that there's different application grouping. You can actually automatically group identical windows together unless in another group. You can group newly opened windows with a control key. So what I've basically done is gone here and set this to automatically group, which is the Notion, win or so the Windows Explorer and Notion. So actually, I'm gonna get rid of this and show you how to do that. So if I press delete here and I close out of all my Notion, if I open up Notion again, what I can do here in order to get that setting to come back is actually press the three dots here. And in order to always show tabs for this type of window, that is how you toggle that off, on and off. So if I go here and actually press Control Shift N, so that's, that's an uncommon way to know to open up a new window for Notion and then hover this over. You'll see it'll give you this. Now if I press the three dots and press always show tabs for this window, then I'll be able to easily press the plus sign. I recommend pressing Control Shift N instead. But what you can then do is press on that three dots and press automatically group all Notion.exe windows together. So then as you'll see, I go to the application grouping and I exit out of the software and go back in. Notion.exe anytime I want to make a new tab, it'll automatically group it together. So say I did this and I press Control Shift N again. Now it'll group everything together in Notion. So obviously this works really well for another couple applications. Um, as you can see, there are some really nice use cases for when you have multiple Windows Explorer tabs. So like obviously there are situations where I need to refer to things like thumbnails and different things in video scripts or I need to refer to screen recordings and what uh, projects there need to be or I need to refer to a bunch of different stuff. But it's nice to be able to scroll through these because if I didn't, I want you to show the difference in the functionality that people just have to deal with that I don't. Like, I never have to do this, which is, I personally think a big deal. I, I hate doing that when I'm, when I'm working on other applications, it's awful. And as shown earlier, if I ever wanna work in all these different tabs and, and I have Brave and I have a lot of different tabs going on, I can go to these and hover over each other and I can switch between two different applications rather than having to switch through a bunch of these. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.